When I first started working with him, I thought he was a sweetheart of a guy, not that talented. Which David are you talking about? <laughs> I still think it's the most beautiful music ever, ever written. Once you knew his music and got to know him a little bit better, that you just couldn't help but fall in love with him. Oh, I'm definitely a Bowie fan. I waved to him and he went, waved back and, and, and winked at me. And I, I'll never forget that. Who is this alien, this translucent being? That was a very special moment making Crack Tactic. It was just jaw-dropping. I have never seen an artist who can reach so many people on so many different levels at so many different times. Back in the 70s, it was not cool. There was nothing gay on television. There was no gay um, idols. There was no anyone out there. So it was like, wow, there's someone else out there that I'm kind of relating to. It. I went into the record shop and I heard this song with this blasting snare drum. Do, 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 do. And I think, what is this? My first ever proper rock concert was to see David Bowie, 1973, June 22nd, Birmingham Town Hall, row three, £1.50 to get in. I've been a Bowie fan since I was seven, since the immaculate and the immortal appearance on top of the pops. The woman in the shop recommended this new thing that was a hot shit in London called Jean Genie. I got to tour the world with David Bowie, who is the one person I wanted to photograph the most. I enjoyed touring just for the joy of playing the music. When we, the damn trio, George Murray, Carlos Alomar and Dennis Davis, when we play, we're playing minimalistic, mm -hmm. but it's got a pocket, it's got a groove, it's got holes. I loved the job. <laughs> I wouldn't be Sonia, I wouldn't be me without David Bowie. Bowie just opens up your heart. The depth and breadth of the work of an artist like him reverberates long after they've left us. He made me not feel alone anymore. And that last time I emailed on his birthday and never heard back from him. When he died, it was like losing a member of my family. So he's here in my heart every day.